Tens of thousands of years ago, the Melanesian people settled in West Papua. Then, in 1660, the Dutch colonized the land, including the islands that make up Indonesia. This lasted for around 300 years. In 1946, the Republic of Indonesia became an independent nation. West Papua, however, did not join the newly established Republic of Indonesia and remained under control of the Dutch. The Dutch, realizing that Indonesia and West Papua are geographically, culturally and ethnically different, began preparations for West Papua to have its own independence. In 1961, West Papua raised its flag, the Morning Star, held Congress and declared itself an independent nation. At this point, however, Indonesia decided that it wanted control of all the former Dutch colonies in the Asia-Pacific region, and so the Indonesian government decided to invade West Papua. Consequently, fighting broke out between the Dutch, the Indonesian government, and the indigenous population of West Papua. In 1962, after a lot of fighting, the United Nations stepped in and took control of West Papua. The UN then, without consulting West Papua, said to Indonesia, In one year's time, the UN will give Indonesia control of West Papua, but Indonesia must promise to allow the West Papuan people to vote for self-determination. Indonesia then had control of West Papua for the next seven years, during which there was much resistance from the West Papuan people. Despite the fact that West Papua was in conflict with Indonesia, the UN allowed the Indonesian government to conduct West Papua's vote for independence entitled the Act of Free Choice. UN officials were present to ensure that it was a fair election, but it was not. West Papua had a population of 1 million, but only 1,000 people were handpicked by the Indonesian military to vote, under threat of violence to themselves and their families. This is now known as the Act of No Choice. Despite complaints from the West Papuan people, the UN sanctioned the vote and West Papua has remained part of Indonesia to this day. Since this happened in 1969, at least 100,000 West Papuans have been killed by the Indonesian government and many more have been raped, tortured and imprisoned. The Indonesian government does not allow any foreign press or human rights organizations in West Papua. Today, West Papua is still fighting for its independence with the Free West Papua campaign and unless other countries and people support their movement for a fair and transparent referendum, West Papuan people will continue to die. <laughs>